Okay, so in this example of solving a compound inequality, you can see here there's a little bit of a difference than we had before. We are dividing with a negative 2. Now we know when if, if we want to uh, solve for x in this, we use SAMDOB back, uh, BODMAS backwards, which is SAMDOB. Which means just that the last thing we do is brackets. Now we should recall that when we have a divide line everything in the top goes into a bracket so I've got a bracket divided by negative 2 so I don't have subtraction addition or multiplication outside of the bracket but I do have a division so to get rid of a division I will multiply I will multiply all the sides with negative 2 but I can't write it here because the moment I write it I must change my signs or my sides in this case around because I'm multiplying with a negative so I'll have 31 times negative 2 is smaller than so look how the smaller than now comes to this side is smaller than negative s negative 17 x minus 11 okay and since I divided with the negative 2 here they will cancel is smaller than or equal to so again notice that this sign went that side because I'm multiplying with a negative and it's uh, times negative 2, what does that give me? 210 is it? Okay, 210. Good. Now I am going to add the 11. Add the 11 every uh, both sides as well as in the middle, or in the middle as well as both sides. Okay, so negative 30 or 31 times negative 2, this would have been, I didn't calculate it, but it would have been negative 62. Negative 62 plus 11 gives me 51. So I get 51, negative 51, I mean, is smaller than negative 17x, is smaller than or equal to 210, that gives me 221. Okay. Now I'm going to divide everything with a negative 17. But again, I'm not allowed to write it really, because the moment I write it, I have to swap my sides around. So I've got 221 divided by negative 17 is smaller than or equal to negative 17 divided by negative 17 would just be 1. So it's x is smaller than negative 51 divided by negative 17. Good. So you'll see whenever you are doing these questions, the whole time your left hand side must be smaller or equal to your right hand side. So this side's value must be smaller or equal to that side's value. Um, and that's simply because we are using this sign in between. Okay, And, and that's just standard practice. So let's quickly see how many times does 17 divide into 221? Well, 17 into 22 goes in once and 5 is left over and into 5 it goes in 3 times. So negative 1, 3, 13 times is smaller than or equal to x, which is smaller than, and here we said in 51, 17 goes 3 times. So this is 3 and it's positive because the negatives uh, change the sign. Great stuff. So this is our solution. We are working with x to be any number including th negative 13 but not including 3 but all the numbers in between that can be a value for x. If I had to go and draw this, okay, I'm going from negative 13 and all the way up to positive 3 and I'm not going to do the in between okay just to save you time because I mean you know what it looks like in between isn't it okay so 13 is included so it's a solid dot 3 is excluded so it's a open dot and everything in between is included so either a thick line or different color to indicate the set on this little number line. Well, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sure you will uh, agree with me. This is fairly simple and uh, you are going to be excited doing some of these and getting it right. Good luck.